Right, Bill, what's, what's going on here? Right, what we've got to do, Andy, is uh, these, these are two halves of the, of, of, the, of the actual steam band itself. Yep. And they have to go onto the shaft like that. Yep. Damage. Been damaged there. Was that, was that the one you dropped? No, it's not. <laughs> no, no. Yep. I'm going to scrape that off. But the uh, we need we need to get some bearing glue on. Yep. Start off putting a, a liberal coating on. Yep. Plenty of blue, blue on there, see? Yep. Alright. Now that's not right. So what we have to do. What, what, what do you mean it's not right? There's too much blue on. Too much on, yep, okay. Alright, and, and if, 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 uh, if I put the if I put one of these on, yeah, like that, there's blue all over the place. Yep, yeah, okay. And they're, they're not good reading. Okay, because there's, because there's too much, there's, yeah, there's too much bearing blue on. Yep, yeah, okay. So we'll start it off again. And wipe the excess off. Yep. Try again. Right, there we go. Now what we've got there, we've got a heavy mark there. Yes. And a heavy mark, not so heavy there, but there's a bit of blue there. Yep. It, it wants a scrape down towards this end. Right. Uh, we don't want that. If, if there's a yeah, ridge sticking yeah. out like yeah, that, right otherwise the where it runs up against this part of this of the field, which is the locator. Yeah. Oh, I see. It won't. It won't get the yeah, closure. That, yeah. Yeah, you've got to try and have a good joint there so yeah. it's a good steam seal. Yeah. Okay. Right, so we've got you got your bearing in the vice. Yep. Now Bill, so so, so just, just so just tell us what's gonna happen here now. Right, what I'm gonna do now I'll, So I'll, can you speak up a bit, Bill? Okay, what I'm gonna do is, is uh, use this scraper. S scraper? I thought it was a butter knife. No, that, 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 well, if you want to try it, I'll, I'll let you see if it's done. So, so this, uh, is a, this is a scraper? Yeah. And, and I've already marked, I've marked the bearing, uh, marked the seal yeah. with bearing, the bearing glue on the shaft, yeah. and I find that I've got high spots here, here, there, there, yep. there, yep. there, there, and there. Okay. So I take, I, I'll take those, I'll take those points down. Right. Uh, and uh, give it a wipe out with a very fine memory paper. Yep. And go back and, and, and uh, see what okay. happens. Okay. Right. So I'm, I'm going to spray it. Okay, let's have a look at it. That, was, that, that, that might have looked a lot. Yep. But there's not very much come off. Okay. I'll do the other bits. So I'm getting the impression you've done this before. Yeah, I have, Andy. Have you? Yeah, I've done a bit of it, uh, it was part of my long apprenticeship and uh, I've also 
being able to cast the, the white metal into the bearings and yep. I mean that was standard practice in those good old days right. and, and uh, the method I learnt what, uh, in, 19, in the 1950s yep. is still with us today. Oh okay. You know? Yeah, yeah uh, good. I've got lots of other, but I can't remember people's name, but I can remember this. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, uh, I, I don't mind you calling me uh, Bob or Tom or whatever, as long as you yeah. get this way. So what I do now, I've got a very, got a fine P400 it is, got yep. a 400 paper. Yep. And I just rub it, it you, you can rub, you can rub this for your blue in the face. Yep. Okay. And you won't take anything off. Okay. It just helps it. I, we're doing that, but I'm guessing that all you're doing is just smoothing off the uh, the tool marks that you left when you did the scrape. Exactly. Right. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to do a repeat of the process you did before. Just, yep. Just yep. put that on there. Yep. Now I can see now we've got some even better marks. Yeah. So what do you mean by better marks? Well we've got a heavy mark here. Yeah. The mark there. Yeah. High spot, that's high spot. Yeah. High spot there. Yeah. One up there still. Yeah. One there. Yeah. And one up there. Okay. Right. Alright. So we're getting close. Okay. And I'll and even there we're getting I I would reckon we've got we're talking microns and, and uh, 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 tools yeah. and those. So, Bill, I see you've got your Kiwi safety shoes on. Yes. Yes, I have. Slightly better than a pair of flip-flops, I suppose. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, uh, I'm stuck for choices, Andy. Oh, oh why is that? Eh? Why, why are you stuck for choices? Well, I haven't washed my socks. <laughs> so, so Bill, this butter knife, or uh, what you you prefer to call it a bearing scraper? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. You got a box with. Oh, you got a box with it. Oh, so is that a cheese knife? That one? Yeah. Well, that that flat scraper. Yep. Uh, that's probably flat scraper because it's not round. Right. Okay. Okay. And that that one there is is a it, it is a proper bearing scraper. Yep. Uh, and and this one, this yep. triangle, you can. Yep. You've got three cutting edges. I see. So you can you can hoik out big bits if you want to. Yep, okay. And w w where and when did you get those, Bill? Oh, gosh. I bought these in uh, 1954 or 1955. You I, bought bought, <laughs> I bought them at uh, when I served my yep. with J.J. Nibbon and Co. in Hamilton, New Zealand. Yep. And we got two and six a week tool allowance. Okay. So I could buy tools with my two and six a week. Two and six. Two and six. Two shillings and six pence a week. Two, yeah, yep. two bob and six pence. Yep. And, and uh, so I built up my tool shed. Yep. Out of my two and six a week. Right. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, obviously, these weren't as dear then. Yes. As they are now. Yep. Yep. Quite. Quite. Okay. So that. That's a collection of butter knives. And I don't know why you keep calling them bearing scrapers. I'm sure they're butter knives, Bill. Well, they, they, they've always been bearing scrapers, Andy. And, and, and that, that one there can be quite lethal. I bet it can, yeah. at least. Yeah. yeah. So you have to reapply the blue. Every... Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, look at that. They're getting better now, see? Right. When you say getting better, is it because, well, because it, the marks are getting bigger? We, we Before we had a mark there, yeah. red mark up top, mark up top, that's all there. They're yeah. coming out. But we didn't. We weren't getting a lot of marks over the surface. Oh, I see. So, yeah, so if yeah. I take these off, I'm looking to get some marks down here. Yep, okay. So, so you know you're getting it touching all, all, all get, over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. It's still, yeah. it's still still appearing on the on the ends, isn't it? On yeah, the very it is. Ends. It is. It is. Yeah. Okay. But I'm not. I'm going to leave them for now, and I'm just going to look at those. Yeah. Right. So. 
I've got a fussy so tip. The, uh, no, I'm not going to try it. You're not going to try that? No. You're gonna, can, you, can you close it up first and then try and roll it over? Quite that. Other than that, I'll just fucking leave it. And Now, you know why I didn't want to do this on my fucking boat? Yeah. I'm filming, Bill. Hey, it's up my letter square. <laughs> well, there's English people are watching this, Bill. They wouldn't, they wouldn't know what words like that mean. Well, fucking problems. <laughs> There's a better way. Put a piece of string. That is, what was it? Uh, Put a piece like? of string and just pull it up. Oh, oh you got it. Nice one. You get a piece of string under. Pull oh, I right see. Yep, yep, yep. So what we've got uh, the two white metal bearing bearing bits, which are the seals, which, which are those the seals. Yep, yep, there. Yep. And these are the two, these are just what? They're, what they're, are those? They're like, keeps, spa they're spaces? Keeps. No, they're, they're, they're keeps. Keeps, okay, yep. Okay, and let's. Uh, now, and this then, thing should go on here. And where, where is it? Here. That's. Oh, that locates on, on, that, yeah. uh, on that, that pin on the end. Yeah. Oh, yes. Most definitely. Yeah. Okay, and then obviously the next, the next one of these. Lines up where you've got, goes, yeah, you've, got, you've got the seal running over that bit. So what I do is you have to put it in from this side. Yep. See, yep. that's where the next one goes in. Okay, right over here. But that one's not for the day, Andy. Okay. So I'm drawing a close to my uh, my lessons on uh, dealing with uh, four and three eighths steam seals. Yep. On a reciprocating engine, triple expansion. High pressure. Uh, High pressure piston. This is a HP rod. piston, yeah, yep. HP rod, but all the rest are the same size. Yep. And and uh, I've given my lessons to the upper deck. <laughs> so now I'm going to leave it like that and go home and see my beloved. How's that? <laughs>